Hello, beautiful people. We are still in Cyprus with a lovely sunset and everything. Uh, we have some good news. I thought, obviously, it's my last day here uh, and uh, give you some uh, positive news. The SMP are actually collapsing in the opinion polls this time. Uh, the predictions uh, show that if things continue, even right now, then they will be losing all their seats in the next election. So essentially what we have is that obviously we've always talked about how opinion polls and all these surveys should be taken with a pinch of salt. Absolutely. But the trend is important. The trend always matters. With all the scandals they've had recently, which actually isn't really that recent because we've been talking about the SMP scandals for the past few years uh, with the ferry fiasco, with missing money, with this and that and breaking rules and everything else. Now we have a situation where according to yeah, the latest, latest poll, uh, it's not just YouGov, but of course you know, a lot of us don't really trust YouGov these days, but uh, the trend continues similar to YouGov poll showing that the SMP are on just 19% behind the Tories who are on 20% and the Labour Party are on 35% in Scotland. So congratulations, uh, Pums are useless. You've managed to completely single-handedly bring down <laughs> the party within 10 minutes of your leadership. Although we shouldn't really give full credit to Humza because it was his predecessor, um, Queen Nicola, who decided to completely wreck the party with all the progress that uh, Alex Salmon made over the last few years. And I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of Alex Salmon, but I'm just saying that logically, rationally speaking, he managed to make the party slightly more credible, even though it was a lie. So let's go to the graph that we have, the Scottish prediction. You can see the Tory party uh, comparing it to the 2019 uh, election, the 2019 votes percentage, they were on 25%, and the Liberal, the, the, the SNP were on 45%. So that was the highest that they've had. They, they never actually managed to get uh, consistently over 50% of the country anyway. So the SNP is definitely not Scotland, but they did manage to take advantage of the Tories and the Labour Party being all over the place and do well. And they got 48 seats, the SNP, in the 9, 2019 election. Now we are having a situation where uh, if you predict the next election according to the current numbers, they will lose every single 48 seats that they have. They will be on 19% uh, close to the Greens and the Liberal Democrats. Uh, the Labour Party are coming up. They will be getting the 37 uh, uh, seats, which will be, they will, they'll be on 38 seats. And the Tories, despite being on 20%, they will only gain 90. So they'll be on 15 predicted. Seats. I know, again, this is just the YouGov, but again, as I said, it's, it's been the same trend with all the other opinion polls, and I'm not really sure why I keep walking around like an idiot. <laughs> but uh, it's the last night here in Cyprus. I thought I'd finish today's videos. We're giving you guys some happy news, some sort of positivity, and we're going to start the week properly uh, from uh, probably tomorrow night when I get back to London. Uh, although I think I'm, I'm still going to be here tomorrow morning. I might do a few uh, news updates for you guys still from Cyprus before getting the flight back to Britannia and we'll see exactly what's going on in the news. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.